Good day, everyone. How's everyone doing today? And welcome to another episode of Mr. Chavez's Art Show. Today, we're going to be making maracas. Ah! All right. Are you excited? Awesome. Come follow me. We're going to do it today. Here are the supplies we're going to be using today. Now, the main one we're going to be using is plastic bottles. Yay. Um, now, you can use any kind of plastic bottle you can use the regular ones like right here you can use small white ones like these i have a big plastic bottle right here will mr chavez use it later today we'll find out hmm. now now try to stay with plastic bottles okay don't use glass or aluminum bottles because again we're trying to make sure we make our maracas safely okay we're trying to be safe because if you uh, say for example if you use glass bottles we don't want you to drop them and break them and and it's gonna get cracked so make sure you try to stay with plastic bottles okay now the next supply we're gonna be using is colors you can now when it comes to your colors uh, to decorate your maracas you can use markers, you can use paints. Mr. Chavez is gonna be using paint. So he has his brush right here, his rag, just in case he makes a mess and, and has to clean up. He has water. Now, we're not gonna be using color pencils or crayons. I know, I'm sorry, but you could also use yarn, glue, glitter, um, anything you like but try to stay with colors that are gonna uh when it comes to your colors try to stay with markers and paints because that's what's gonna what's that's what's gonna stay on your bottle okay and then what we're gonna put inside our bottles is is this now what mr chavez has he has rice and he has beans so he's going to be using those two. Now, if you don't have rice, uh, now you can use either one of them. You can use just use rice. You can just use beans. Um, if you have something else like little marbles or um, or little beads or something like that, you can use those two. Anything you'd like to make because uh, whatever you'd like to use, you can uh, be creative and put it in your clear plastic bottle. Um, but Mr. Chavez just has rice and beans, so he's gonna, he's just gonna use this. We're gonna use measuring cups. Also, later today, we're gonna do a little science experiment. So in our little art show, we're gonna have a little science because depending on how much rice and beans you put in our bottle, uh, may sound differently. So we're gonna test it out later today. And I got my little funnel right here. Um, the only reason why I have a funnel is just to help pour in uh, the things in the bottle, but if you don't want to if you don't have a funnel, that's fine Just as long as you can get the beans and rice into the bottle. Okay, so those are some supplies now that we have our supplies Let's get started Okay, so the first step we're gonna do is make sure our bottles are clean now You might be using a soda bottle a juice bottle or something like that. So make sure you rinse rinse it completely clean because that way it doesn't get sticky on the inside um now sometimes your bottles will have wrappers like these well that's fine just simply just tear it out the best you can and there you go you have a nice clean clear bottle to use now if it gets a little hard trying to pull it out ask mom or dad to help you out okay all right now the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna paint our bottles okay we're gonna be painting our bottles now i have my paints here ready to go so see colors so i'm gonna be using them to paint my bottle i'm gonna use the black one and see how that looks Ooh, it's looking kind of nice very well done. I'm going to add a little bit more. Add a little bit more. Now, you again, you can color it, paint it, put glitter on it, whatever you like on it. Me, Mr. Chavez is just going to paint. OK, 
Okay, like so. We're going to be painting it like so. Now, it is a little boring to watch me paint. So this is what I'm going to do. We're just going to fast forward like so. See? Magic. <laughs> Surprised you, didn't I? So, here's my finished bottle. See how nice and it looks? So, once you finish painting or coloring your mark, uh, your bottle, uh, make sure you leave it to the side for a few hours or so until it's completely dry, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna let my bottle dry for a bit. So, until um, then, I'm gonna show you a little quick science experiment, okay? Okay, as you can see, we have three bottles right here and three cups of beans right here. We have uh, a quarter cup of beans right here, a half a cup, and one full cup of beans. So what we're going to do later, once your, your bottle is drying off, we're going to put beans into the bottles like so. So I have my little funnel just to help me out with, with putting the beans in. So. So, now it's going to take forever for, for Mr. Chavez to do all this, so this is what I'm just going to do. Okay, so all of our bottles are filled, so let's test to see if there's a difference in sound. So, this so is, here's the quarter cup. Okay. And then here's a half a cup. And then here is a full cup. Now, the more the more beans you put in a bottle, the more it's gonna sound deeper and low like a monster. But the less you put in, it's gonna sound high and very loud, okay? So the more, so, and not only that, but there's also a difference between uh, using beans and using rice. So we're gonna test that out. Okay, so the, so I have my, my beans right here and my rice right here. So this is how they sound like. So that's the rice, and then this is the beans. Notice the difference in sounds? This one has a more heavier and, and louder sound, while this one is more lighter and quiet. So, and then also if you're going to try marbles or beads, you can use those too. So just remember, the more you put in, in a bottle, the more it's going to sound deeper. And the heavier the object, the more it's going to sound deeper. And the lighter the object, it's going to sound lighter, okay? Okay, so at this point, you should have already finished decorating your maracas. You should have already colored them and dry, set them out to dry. And after they're dried up, you can already put the beans in there, however many you like. And once you put them in and you put the beans, you can seal it up with a cap and they're ready to go it's time to party y'all Woo! okay and what's without a party without some music all right everyone get your maracas ready ready all right this is gonna be fun continue jamming over here okay till then next time i'll see you all in my next art show video all right bye